We see here down below a little indicator, red in this case, and 996 errors. The pre-flight feature, here we see no errors, is very useful to help quickly find problems and to help you correct them. There's been reports of the pre-flight causing crashes. How can we turn off pre-flight in Adobe InDesign? All right, so here we see a file with no errors. And we can click and get various options. Pre-flight panel, define profiles, which is you know, very similar to Flight Chick. If we go back down here, we can say, Turn off pre-flight document. And, and turn off enable pre-flight for everything. Pre-flight is now disabled and will not affect on any of our documents. It's automatically turned off. So if you have any of the problems with pre-flight causing crashes or other issues in your InDesign, you can disable it that easily. Pre-flighting your links, fonts, colors, graphics, basically your layout before going to print or passing on to the next party in the workflow is vital to ensure that what you create not only looks good on screen but will print or export or output correctly as well. We at Marksware know this well as we have made flight check and even invented the process of pre-flighting and have a US patent on this. So pre-flighting is nothing new to us. If InDesign's pre-flight has got you down or you need to pre-flight and package more than just InDesign, but also Illustrator, and Quark Express, and even we can check the resulting PDF files, then cruise on over to Marksware.com and check out the Flight Check page today. There you get full information on how Flight Check can help you not only pre-flight and stop problems, but also package your Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and many more file formats as well. How to disable pre-flight in InDesign. Thank you, David Dilling from Marksware. Signing off.